What's poppin' YouTube? My name is Corey Madison. Thank you so much for joining me. So in today's video, as you can tell by the title, we're gonna be breaking down, dissecting, deflecting on how the hell all these black girls are getting this flawless TikTok makeup. That'll take you from black to black, okay? So if that sounds interesting, you guys already read the title, so let's just get straight into this video. Let's go! But before we do that, you know I gotta throw in this motherfucking claimer. I am in no way dragging these girls or saying their makeup is too much or saying that it's corny or any of that stuff that people might assume. I actually really do like the TikTok makeup. This is not me trying to encourage you guys to put on tons of makeup to feel black. Um, that's not true. It was never true. We all know that social media is fake. We all know that, again, this is not a diss to those girls, but they are wearing a lot of makeup and filters and lighting and all that stuff. Plays a super huge role in how well they look. So it's important to just, you know, take everything you see here today with a grain of salt. This is for fun. This is not to drag anyone or to drag yourself. Cool? Cool. So we all know about the TikTok girl. Gigi the Black Barbie. Frenchie etc okay there are so many girls out there who have this like flawless makeup and so i thought i'm good at makeup or at least i think i am so let me just break it down for you guys so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna get this look if you like this look keep on gosh darn watching okay now i'm done let's go the first thing i'm gonna start with is priming my face now if you're just taking pictures does primer really <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Now, if you're just taking pictures, does primer really matter? No, but um, if you're going outside, then yes, probably. So I'm going to take the Hydro Grip Primer. I like a gripping primer because it's going to hold on to your makeup even like under your mask and junk, which is what we want. Remember, these girls wear like full spackle, okay? There's so no dewy natural look. And your primer should complement and work really well with whatever foundation you're using, which in my case is the Hydro Grip Primer. So the next thing we're gonna do is conceal. We're actually gonna do a little bit of underpainting before we get into the full glammy glam look. One of the reasons why this girl's skin looks so flawless is because they're using a lot of concealer or like a full coverage concealer. So I'm gonna take one from L'Oreal. This is the Infallible Full Wear. For me, this is in the shade 410 Almond. And I'm going to basically highlight all the areas of my face that are already pretty light, basically. Um, when you have a nice, bright um, cheeks, I feel like that reflects off light really well as well. And so you get that nice, super duper bright under eye that they have. It's not going to be a uh, one size fits all kind of vibe because everyone's face shape is different. Um, so I would also recommend going on TikTok or YouTube and looking up what concealer placement complements your shape, your face shape the best. Um, but this is what that is for me. So you can see the concealer looks like that. And then we're going to take a beauty blender and just blend that all out. You can also mix in a little bit of setting spray if you want it to be like um, more natural. <laughs> but if you don't want it to be natural, that's what you do. You can keep going like this. So now that I look casket ready, we're gonna do the, next we're gonna do blush. Um, so I'm gonna take this Sweet Cheeks blush from NYX and we're gonna do a little bit of um, more underpainting here. Um, so most of these girls, have pretty high cheekbones or whatever. What I like to do is I actually don't place the blush up here. Again, that has to do with my personal face shape. So again, do research about what looks best for your face shape. But for me, it's actually not going down this way. It's placing it right underneath my cheekbone. And then I'm gonna do right underneath my nose as well. Those areas. We're gonna blend it right underneath that cheekbone and kind of just hug it. Literally just like that. Also, what's great about underpainting is that it doesn't have to be perfect because we are literally um, going to put foundation on top. So it doesn't even have to be perfectly blended out, which is great. So next, we're gonna do some contour. I don't know. I don't normally even do a lot of contour. Um, I mostly just contour my nose, um, which we're gonna do actually on top of the foundation, so it looks more um, prominent. But for right now, I'm literally just gonna do some lines up in here. Oh, this is the contour stick from um, Bobbi Brown. Um, you can use any stick you like, and I'm literally just gonna do some of that like that. 
That's literally all that I do for contour. These girls, normally they do very low contour. It doesn't stretch out very far because we want that kind of just high cheekbone energy going on. And for the most part, you get that from keeping your contour to a minimum. Cute. Cute. I mean, not cute, but we're getting there. Okay, so now we've contoured. I'm just going to hit it with... A little bit of setting spray. I'm taking the mattifying setting, uh, taking the mattifying setting spray from Morphe because we want to be matte. We don't want any um, flaws. <laughs> we don't want any imperfections. We're not a human being. Okay. Um, I'm gonna take a pretty full coverage foundation. Um, for mine, I'm using the Huda Beauty Stick Foundation. This is in the shade Chocolate Mousse. And I'm going to cover now all of this underpainting that we did. So we're going to start back here. I like to start on the outside of my face and then blend it inwards. You can do whatever you prefer. This is what I prefer. And I like to keep it away from the areas that I highlighted. So see how it's not up in here? I didn't bring it in. Because we want those areas to stay pretty darn bright, we're going to avoid it and then actually blend it up into um, the highlighter. That back corner and working my way forward. Going right over that blush, going up top into my forehead, blending that highlight and contour together, and then doing the same thing on the other side. Pretty, but we're not done. So now we're gonna, you know, conceal some more. I know you're probably thinking to yourself, of course we just concealed. Um, okay. These girls don't play. Y'all think I'm playing? You thought y'all think I'm playing? You know who's not playing? These girls. So I'm gonna take this highlighter stick, also from Bobbi Brown. Use any highlighter concealer that you like. Um, it just has to be like bright, right? So we're just gonna hit the inner, inner, inner corner with a really bright concealer, just like that. All right, and then I'm gonna do my nose like that. And the reason I'm blending my nose out like this is to get that like scissor nose, where you have like a very thin bridge, but then a super wide um, base, I guess. And then we're gonna blend it, but we're not gonna blend it out. We're gonna pat, 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 right in the area where we placed it. Nowhere else. You see? I'm um, not moving. Just tap, tap, tapping it in that area. Because we want all the coverage to stay right there. Then you're gonna take your contour. I'm using the contour stick again. And then you're gonna contour your nose. Now, how I like to do my nose is again the scissor nose. So we're gonna do a, a thinner bridge. I like to start out a little bit on the outside. So a little bit wider than how you actually want it to be, and I'm gonna tell you why in a second. This is kind of wide, right? I'm gonna show you why that's important. We're gonna do the underside of the nose like that. We're gonna do on top of that like that. You see the construction? You see how everything's coming together? And then I like to add an extra little swipe just right on top of there. Cute. I don't go all the way up because we're gonna blend it up. I feel like it looks more natural that way. But if you want a nose that's super snatched, because some of these girls' noses be snatched as fuck, you can do that. But I'm also gonna add bronzer and all that stuff later, so that's where I get my snatchery from. Take a small dense brush. We're gonna blend everything out now. For the bottom, you want to blend down. I look a little piggy. And then you see the sides. Now you can take the sides in, blend it inwards, okay? You see the difference? And then so now it's not a harsh line right in the center. And then you could blend it in as far as you like. And then also you could take the product up a little bit. My um, contour stick, the Bobbi Brown, a little goes a long way. Um, so I don't need as much product, so I can literally just drag it up into my my brows and then we're gonna do the bottom or actually the bottom we're gonna do the tip of the nose and you're literally just gonna blend it out that way and i'll take the other side of my beauty blender and just clean up the sides a bit just like that boom TikTok nose okay so now we're ready for powder now like i said these girls are matte <laughs> They're mattified. 
Duh. Okay? That shit don't fucking move. So, I'm gonna take my Urban Decay powder, the Velvetizer. And I'm gonna take a separate beauty blender for powder. You want to grab a powder that's full, full coverage, full spackle, full, as full as it freaking gets, okay? Now place it everywhere I put concealer, okay? The most important parts are right next to the nose, and then I like to put a little bit under the nose as well. Just like that. Hit a little powder up top, a little powder on the chin. Cute? Cute. Bronze. So I'm going to take the Morphe Bronze Touring, and then a big gold powder. Look, I've hit pan with this thing. But basically... You're going to prep your powder on your brush. You're going to start, remember how we said we put the blush like in the middle of the cheekbone? And do you see that? It's not a line, but do you see how it's like light, 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 and then dark on the underside? That's basically what we're going to try and embolish. So you're going to start, I start like right around here and just take it down. And we just want to darken that area so that line, you see that, is more clear. Then, you take a little on your forehead, if you got a five head, make it a four head, like that. You can blend into your um, eyebrows as well. Again, this has to do with face shape again, so whatever looks good on you. And then we're gonna do blush. Now we're in powder mode. So I'm gonna take the Juvia's Place, their volume one blush. This is the best blush for black girls, period. I said it. Um, I usually use just the orange blush. I think orange blush, again, looks amazing on black women. Um, but you can do both. You can do red, whatever you want to do. So I'm going to take a little bit of this orange blush and place it right where I place the liquid blush. And then this also helps to kind of blend in the um, powder contour area. Beautiful. Then we're going to take a slightly smaller brush. Dip it in our bronzer, tap off the excess, and we're gonna do the nose. For the nose, I like to start right in here. And then work my way down, and then fan it back up. This is just gonna add a little more definition, because we want a nice, strong bridge. So, now that our powders are done, well, almost done, actually. Um, I'm just gonna take some more full spackle powder. This is the Huda Beauty powder. This one's a little bit darker. It's a little more yellow. I'm gonna take my other side of my powder sponge. Okay, dab off the excess. And then I'm gonna cut my jawline. Really just like that. When I said full spackle, I meant full spackle. Okay, if y'all sitting here talking about, I don't do much makeup. Well then, I guess you're not black, are you? No, I'm playing. But seriously though, if you want this look, like I promise you, it's just a lot of makeup, that's all. Now we're gonna blend everything away. We're gonna powder everything away. So I'm gonna take a nice fluffy powder brush. I'm gonna take a little bit of a pressed powder. This is from Black Opal. Um, this one should be closer to your just skin tone, though it can be a little light. Like mine's light, because it's very translucent. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that product on the brush. And I'm gonna wipe away all the powder that we just put on our face, starting with the jawline, because I hate it when there's like a super bad line, so I always do that first. And now we have a super flawless base, okay? Like this shit looks, I look like I have a filter on right now. So that's kind of how you do that. And then normally I'll go like back and forth, like I'll put a little more bronzer, da -da -da, a little more blush, like whatever, like you kind of just got to feel it out. So we're almost done with the base. The last thing we're gonna do is um, highlighter. For highlighter, you wanna use something super bright. I'm gonna use the Milani, their dual-sided highlighter um, in the shade Power Up. And then with this one, so this one has a powder side and then a cream side. I'm gonna take the powder side first because it's a little bit more chill. And then I put the cream on top and that's gonna give it that like blinding highlighter look. So when I place my highlighter, I'm gonna place it on the fat part of the nose, side to side. So like that. And then I'm gonna do my bridge. Like that. And then I'm gonna take the cream side. The cream is gonna go right in the middle to make that brighter. 
and then right up at the top to make that brighter as well. Just like that, okay? And there's girls like Frenchie who go dumb, go stupid with the highlighter and it's like crazy. And I don't mean crazy in a bad way, I just mean like it's super bright. Um, that's gonna be up to your personal discretion. So if you want it to be super bright, that's fine. Just blend it out less and add more product. So I don't know how to tell y'all this. Y'all gonna be upset, cut your brows. Shave the tail end of your brows off. I'm, I'm gonna tell you to do it. I'm gonna, this is your sign that you need to cut off your brows. Um, the reason you need to cut off your brows, the reason you need to cut off your brows is because most of these girls have cut off their brows. <laughs> um, it's trending right now to have a very straight brow. Um, it's also gonna make the face wider, which is kind of what we want. We want that super angular cut face. Um, so making them wider and less downturn is gonna give you a higher eye and also a wider face, which is kind of what we're going for. So you just wanna brush them out. That's what my brows look like. Boom, boom. I'm gonna take my brow pencil. This is from Anastasia. I don't know the shade. Yes, I do. Dark brown. And then we're gonna do make our own tail extend it out like that. You see that? See how my tail ended here, but I brought it out to here? It's because my tail, my actual tail is shaved off. Next, I'm gonna do the bottom line. Make sure nice and straight. Well, it doesn't have to be perfectly straight, but you get the point. Like that. And then I don't really do the top as much, but I will kind of just fill in any sparseness and kind of get it to match the tail as much as possible. And then I don't use concealer around my brows. I don't conceal around my brows. It's, well, what are we in middle school? Get it together. I'm just playing. But if your brows are shaped, you don't have to clean them up because they're already shaped. So going back to my last point, shave your brows. Next, we're gonna do a little brow powder. Now you don't have to do brow powder, you can just fill it in with a pencil, but I like brow powder because it's going to make the brow super matte and kind of dark, which is kind of the vibe that they go for. So I'm going to take, there's two shades, I have a dark shade, light shade, and a wax. So I'm going to start, actually we'll start with the darker shade on a little flat rounded brush like this. What I like to do, well, I'm going to you in brow powder, right, is I'm going to start right at the back end, kind of like around here. And the darkest part of the brow should be right in the middle. Okay, picking up what I'm putting down here. And then I'm gonna take the lighter color of the two, and then I'm gonna fill the actual brow with the powder. Brow powder, I feel like, is also so much faster. Anyway, spoolie. And we're gonna blend out the front. All right, I zoom back out. I don't know if this is the same angle I had last time. There we go. Yeah. So I'll take a brow pen. This one's from Milani and do like fake hairs sometimes. I added some hairs in the front. Oh my God, that looks crazy. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Let me blend this shit out. <laughs> For y'all start talking about I don't know what I'm doing, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Do you? I mean, if you're watching this video, you don't know what the fuck you're doing either, so. What's up now? And I guess this is the point where you would clean up your brows. I don't know nothing about that lifestyle, so don't come to ask me about that, but yeah. So, next thing we're gonna do is the eyes. So for the eyes, you're gonna take some concealer and just put that on your eyeball. Now the eyes are a little tricky because again, everyone's eye shape is different, so. I can't tell you what the perfect eye look is gonna be. That's up to you and your discretion. But for the most part, based off of these TikToks that I've seen, there's no like crazy eyeshadow looks for the most part. It's just like a regular eye. My camera cut out, I don't know what happened, but like I was saying, I'm blending out my eyes. Um, so she's gonna blend out the concealer on the top, just like that. I like to take a little bit of that face powder I was talking about from Black Opal and just put that on my eyes. So next I'm gonna take a flat brush and then I'm gonna use my Violet Voss palette. She's so pretty. And we're gonna take this color right up at the top, Hustle. It's just like a cream color, very basic. And we're gonna put that on our lid and actually go down on our nose. So we're gonna start right here. 
I don't know, I can't confirm if this is what the girlies are doing for real, but I find that this looks really nice. So like I said, you're basically going to take it all the way down. And like into your eyeballs. Basically putting it where I put that second layer of concealer. And that's going to give you extra, extra coverage, girl. Then you're going to take it down, carve out the nose, get in the eye. Or that is. Now we're gonna move on to the actual eyes. So eyeliner. Um, we're gonna go big, go home for this, but you don't have to if you don't want to. Again, this the whole for me, eyeliner is like personal preference. Hold on, I'm trying to find my brush. Eyeliner is like personal preference. Whatever you looks good on you, do that for this part. But um, I'm just gonna take my nose contour brush and then just blend out the edges. So I'm using felted gel and liquid okay i got all the liners we're gonna start with liquid can y'all hear me okay my eyes are fucking huge oh my god anyway um i have slightly hooded eyes like if i look straight ahead right i do have a little bit of a fold here it's not the worst hooded eyes in the world because some people literally look like like this but there's definitely a fold and i definitely have to accommodate for it you know when I do my thing so in the NYX epic wear liquid eyeliner best liquid eyeliner if you want waterproof waterproof this is your girl anyway so I like to start where my actual eyelid ends oh my god is this thing focused see this part of the eye to fold we gonna start there so I'm just gonna hit the boop boop like that Okay, do the thing the other side. How to low key change my eye shape, low key. That's what we're going for. Yo, there's so much powder on my under eye. Okay, that's kind of what we're going for. So, next, we're gonna draw a line that goes like this away from our lash line. Okay? Like literally off the grid. Like it's not even touching nothing. We're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Like that. Now we're gonna connect these lines. Connect the top lines. So we're gonna connect the top lines. Like that. Boom. Okay. And then this is where you can make it longer if you want. You can bring it like all the way out of here. Sorry, I can't talk and do eyeliner at the same time. It's very hard. Like that. Basically. And then fill it in. And that's how I do my eyeliner. So next we gonna take, this is the Tarte Double Take because it's felt tip, oh, it's gel on one side and then felt tip on the other side. So we're gonna start with the gel side and do the inner, all the inner stuff. I'm gonna line my lash, the top lash line. I do the inner corner. And take the other side, the felt tip side, and make the actual line. They're never perfect, like ever. They're never actually like sharp. I, but nobody, nobody cares. So, <laughs> ah, see this one talking about. What the fuck is that? It's okay. Don't panic. Don't panic. Clean that shit. Ain't no thing. Ain't no thing. Put some concealer and just try again you know just try again just don't even don't even worry about it. just just try it clean it it's clean enough because we're about to make it dark again but yeah i don't know how to bitches get that shit so sharp i could never will never um but if you can shout out to you 
you're doing what the girls ever could. Do you see how also now my eyes are very wide? That's also kind of what we want, so yeah. I'm gonna take the gel side again and connect it to the end of the wing, not the end of my lower lash line. And just fill that shit in like that to kind of finish that area. Okay? It's starting to come together, and I know you see it coming together, right? As soon as I do the eyeliner, it always comes together after the eyeliner. So, I'm gonna add a little bit of brightness to the eye. Taking this lip eyeliner, this eyeliner from LA Girl, it looks like this. I don't know what color it is, but you just wanna get a cream. If you're black, if you get white, it's like too cartoony. So I'm gonna take something that's like cream, it's a little dark, and then place that right here and right there. Like that. Now I'm gonna move on to mascara. I'm taking the Idol mascara from Lancome. Best mascara in the game, I swear to God. Um, and I'm gonna do my lashes, but we're gonna put lashes on, but you know, mascara, whatever. I'm not worried about them looking super long because I'm gonna put lashes on, because as you can see, I don't have no fucking eyelashes. Um, and I'm gonna do the bottom lash line, so I gotta look up for this, so yeah. So, the last thing we're gonna do is the lashes. So for me, I have these lashes. They're from Walmart. I don't know what, uh, I don't know what they're called. I don't remember where I got them. I think it's like specific beauty, but you just want to take a lash that's very curly. Very curly. They don't even have to be that long. They just got to be kind of curly. And we're going to kind of do the lifted eye look as well. I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. Um, I'm going to take my Kiss Lash Glue. It's all fucked up. <laughs> um, and this, I'm going to show you where to place the glue, right? So when you're doing it, you want to place the glue here in the outer corner, right, go all the way in, and then a little bit above that. And I'm going to tell you why in a second, but watch me do it first. So there, there, in here, and then a little bit above that. So now the glue is dry, see it's like clear now for the most part. Take some tweezers, take your lash, you're gonna start, you're gonna hold it like this in the middle and you're gonna start in the middle, okay? So when you apply, you start, look down, mirror, look down, start in the middle, okay? Then you're gonna do the inner corner next. And make sure that John really on there because the inner corner loves to play games. We'll do that inner corner. Make sure it's nice and tight. Now we're gonna do the end last. The end, you gonna put it like how you put the lash line. Make sure it's pressed in there real good. Then you're gonna literally push it up so the glue folds your eyeball, basically. And do that for the whole thing. Just push it up. Like that. And then, you know, adjust it and shit. Like, for me, I don't want it to be too foldy. Bring it down a little bit, but... Boom. Okay. See that? Big ol' eyes. <laughs> so now we got these big ol' eyes. Just staring right into your soul. Okay, so let me zoom out. And we're gonna do... Oh! I gotta zoom out. We're gonna do the lips. Okay, let's do the lips. But they look good, though, right? Don't my eyes look nice? They look huge. Lips. The, um... It's like a Shigo meets Bratz doll lip, right? It's very rounded and shit. So after you put a little powder on your lips, if you got a Cupid's bow like me and you want to get rid of it, I'm going to show you how to do that. So you're going to take a little brown pencil, nice dark brown, and you're going to start not at the corner in there, okay? You're going to go up. See how I didn't start right at the corner? I started a little inner. Okay, keep going. Up. Cross over your cupid's go. We're literally gonna ignore it. <laughs> you see that? Right over it. Follow that same line going down. Boom. Okay. Next, this is what I like to do. You don't gotta do this if you don't want to. 
But I actually like to take my brow powder to fill in the top of the lip right here and just kind of like cancel out my cupid's bow. <laughs> and I like my cupid's bow, don't, don't get me wrong. I see pictures of Rih Rihanna, it reminds me to love my cupid's bow every day, but I don't want it every day, so. The, um, my contour stick as lipstick. It's the same shit. So, then you go like that. Uh, boom 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 okay there you go now you're gonna do the whole top lip that's the shego part then we're gonna do the bottom because some of you bitches don't like to do your bottom lip and it's weird i'm kidding <laughs> just do the inner the corners okay just like that Wrong one. your lipstick i use a lipstick from juvia's place in the shade lady gonna use a nice nude and then do your center you don't want to smack your lips together on top you don't want to smack your lips together too much because then the brown could get on the bottom you don't hit the mm, 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 like an upper bite my camera don't like me it stopped recording again but you get the point so da 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 shit and then you're gonna take literally the thickest gloss you can find. It can be clear, mine used to be clear, now it's brown, doesn't matter. And then you're gonna start with the lighter heart, then gloss over the heavy part, so. I just said heavy, the darker heart. Just like that. And you have a vivacious, bodacious lip. All right, the final thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take that brow pen I was talking about, or just like brown, dark brown, whatever you got, and we're gonna do some beauty marks. So I like to do one up here, in here, on my nose, up here, under my nose, here, and on this fucking zit. <laughs> and with that, ladies and gentlemen, we are pretty much done. Oh, and actually, before I close out the video, I'll also show you how to do faux freckles. But if you want a more in detail faux freckles tutorial, well, let me know because this is gonna be a very abridged tutorial. Basically, you're gonna take a cream contour palette. I'm using the one from Black Radiance taking this color that's fucked up. You're gonna take a nail pen tool. I mean, you could also use like a rat tail comb. I don't know, whatever you got that's small. Dip it in there. You're gonna take your fingy. You're gonna dab it on your fingy. Like that. And then you're gonna press that into your face. Literally just like that. Definitely practice this before you actually have to wear it out because if you fuck up your freckles, boy, I feel like that shit just Ruins my whole week, you know? But that's like an abridged version. But okay, now we're done. Let me back the fuck up. And as you can see, we have a very TikTok-like look. This is the final look. Huge eyes, flawless base, big old lips. This is giving. Stop! It's giving very much TikTok, I feel like. So let me know in the comments how you think I did. If you have any questions on how I put together this little look or whatever, feel free to shoot me a comment. Um, follow me on Instagram where you will probably see this look and many more. I had so much fun doing this. And again, um, again, I just want to reiterate, this is not a diss to any girls who wear this type of makeup. This is not a diss to anyone who likes this type of makeup. I mean, I wouldn't be making a tutorial on how to do it if I didn't like it. I think it's very nice. I just want to be clear about it is a lot of makeup that you know It's tried and true saying everyone knows it the things you see on the internet. They're not true I think we all know that sometimes we just need to be reminded of it um, And again, this is when these girls film these videos. They're using super bright lights and Filters and all this stuff. I'm not even wearing a filter right now. Put a video of me wearing a filter though, <laughs> if you'd like to see it. But yeah, so just keep that in mind that it's never gonna look 
no one is born like that no one looks like that it's all glitz and glam and makeup and touch up which is fine because social media is fun and that's what we like to do but it's just like i said good to remind people once in a while that the internet is fake and the tiktok isn't real it really just comes down to finding your own personal makeup style and finding what flatters you the most um you don't have to fit into a bubble or a certain criteria to be beautiful or to be your best self basically is what i'm trying to say but I do hope you liked the video, and if you were looking to do a makeup style like this, I hope I clarified a lot of things. I've been doing a lot of research. But anyways, that is going to do it for me, guys. So like if you enjoyed this video, leave a comment of your thoughts. Make sure to smile. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to ring that bell notification button right after you subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye! Let's go. Wow. Renegade. Renegade, renegade, renegade. Don't remember the dance. Mm -mm.